What's up guys, Austin Numa here with MotionArray.com and today we'll be covering ways that you can use a blur effect that you might not have known about. In this tutorial, we're going over the following. A motion blur, creating a glow effect with blur, and blur as a design element. Let's go ahead and dive in. In our previous video, Four Hidden Tips and Tricks in Premiere Pro, we covered how to make a motion blur using the transform effect right here inside Adobe Premiere Pro. In this tutorial, we're gonna be learning how to make a motion blur using the blur effect. All right, so I'm inside Adobe Premiere Pro. I've got my text on my timeline ready to go, and I've got a nice little animation that I've keyframed. The text will come into the screen, and at the very end, it exits just like that. But what I wanna do to add a little bit more realism to this is I wanna add a motion blur in between these two keyframes where the animation is happening. So what I would simply do is go down to my effects, and I would look up a directional blur. Grab the directional blur and drag that onto your text layer. Now you're gonna see a couple of values under directional blur. We're gonna to go to our first keyframe under position using this arrow key. So now we're at the first keyframe of action here. The direction is referring to the angle at which this is moving. Since we're moving from left to right horizontally, we'll do a direction of 90 degrees. Now under blur length, we're gonna set a keyframe right here at the first frame of action. And we're going to change this blur length to about 20 to give it a nice filmic look. And then we want it to end at the very final frame of action. So we're gonna go back up here under our position, use this keyframe arrow key, go to the last frame of action. We're gonna set our keyframe here and we're gonna zero this out using reset parameter. And now we get this. If you're asking how you should treat a vertical animation, like I've done to this text here, when I've gone back and reanimated it to come in from the top, what you would wanna do is go to the first keyframe here, go to blur length, set a keyframe, set this one for about 20. Now we're gonna to go to the next keyframe and final keyframe, and we're gonna set this blur length to zero. Now for the direction, it can be zero, and I'll go ahead and move this in between these two keyframes so you can see for context but you'll see that this blur is now vertical. If we want to change the direction to 180, it'll still be the same thing. So you could just leave this to zero. Now we're gonna learn how to create a glow effect with a simple blur. So now we're gonna take this text layer here and we're gonna add a nice glow behind it using another kind of simple blur. The way we're going to be doing this glow effect is basically we're going to be making a mirrored layer behind this text and making it softened. That way it looks unique to this specific text. So with our text layer selected, we're gonna hold down Alt and drag up to the second track and that's gonna duplicate this layer for us. Go back down to your bottom layer here. We're gonna go over to our effects and we're gonna type in Gaussian Blur. Under Video Effects, Blur and Sharpen, you'll find Gaussian Blur. Drag that onto your bottom layer. Now what we wanna do is we want to increase the blurriness value to about 250. And that's gonna give you a nice blur behind. And depending on the type of font you have, you can actually increase the scale here and just kind of mess around with different types of glows, whether you want to be a very large glow or a very minor glow. But either way, this is a really easy way that you can get the glow effect right here inside Adobe Premiere Pro without any plugins. And now I'm gonna show you how you can use this same blur as another type of design element. So I'm back with my text here and I've selected an image underneath that I'd like to use as a design element. However, there's an issue. As you can notice where my text is placed, the white caps of these mountains blend too well with the text, but I don't wanna move the image or the text. This is a simple fix inside Adobe Premiere Pro. All you'd have to do is select the image file, go to effects and type in Gaussian Blur. Under video effects, blur and sharpen, you'll find Gaussian Blur. Drag that onto your image layer. Now it'll pop up in your effect controls panel and we're going to change the value of the blurriness. For this one, I think 40 will do. What we've done here is we've created a really nice contrast between the text and the background image. This is a very powerful tool available to all Premiere Pro editors as a design element. That'll do it for this tutorial. If you're interested in checking out more tutorials on video editing inside Adobe Premiere Pro, I encourage you to check out some of our tutorials right here on motionarray.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.